Uh, hi, Wakar. Thanks for your time ahead of this second test. Obviously, a disappointing result in the first, but I just want to ask you straight out of the box about Nassim Shah. You know, probably the first time lots of us have seen him bowl live. Um, you know, clearly someone you must be very excited to work with. Just give us your impressions of his first test, uh, how you think it went and what your expectations are of him in the future. Uh, look, it was a, a tough pill to swallow the, to begin with, the, uh, losing the, uh, the last test match because uh, I thought uh, we, uh, we won more sessions, we played really well, but unfortunately we, we lost sessions at the, at the wrong time and uh, that really cost us game. Uh, uh, we're talking about Nasim Shah, he uh, he's very very talented, and uh, he, and he's only well, 18, 17 years of age. He's still growing; his bones are growing. And uh, uh, but what a talent he is! I mean, um, I, I don't think he 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 really bowled as well as we expected in the in the previous game. Uh, but he he can really bowl well. He can really uh, you know, take the opposition on uh, at times. Uh, but because he's young, he's, you know, inexperienced uh, and, uh, you know, it gets tough sometimes. But, uh, yeah, he's one for the future. He's going he's got, he's got to get stronger and get hopefully get fitter and, and, and we'll be able to bowl longer spells and, uh, and, and will cause uh, trouble, uh, you know, to batsmen around the world. He looks like he has quite a bit of fire, quite a bit of attitude as well. Some lengthy yeah. stairs running down, making sure the batsman knew he was around. I mean, uh, that, must be, uh, that must be a great thing as well. Well, that's the whole idea. I mean, if you're a, a fast bowler, you should be able to, you know, look in the eyes of the batsman and, and you know, run hard and, and, and make sure you, you trust your ability, which he does. Uh, uh, and uh, as I said, he's, he's very young and uh, he will... He's still learning. He's, he's gonna. It's gonna take a bit of time. Plays more cricket. Uh, I think he's gonna get maturer, and uh, then he'll probably will be a uh, lot more harder to 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 face once he's got more experience. I guess. You, you guys had some really good success against Ben Stokes in the last match, more than and uh, more than most people have had for a while. Uh, just wondered though, with him not being part of the England dressing room, is that is that a boost because? Uh, they always talk about sort of how much inspiration he gives the rest of them, and he's kind of a, a leader, whether he's getting runs or not. I suppose. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. He's he's uh, is a kind of a batsman who could, who takes the game away from you uh, single-handedly at at times. So uh, I, I wouldn't say it's a boost because the way we bowled at him in the in the in the previous game, I thought we we had very clear plans, and 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 I think we executed really well, and. Uh, uh, Yes, he's not around. He's, uh, he's unfortunate uh, for cricket, uh, uh, but uh, there's no doubt he's a match winner. So if he's not around, probably England uh, will probably be a touch light when you talk about the middle order. So we're going to probably talk about it and try to cash into it.